video that we're going to be doing today is actually on a 2014 Ram equipped with the 5.7 liter Hemi. I want to show you step by step how you get to the newer version of an EVAT purge solenoid. This one's actually located in a different position than the previous years. Some of the early 14s as well are of the older design. This is actually a newer design we've got going on. I'm going to show you how to locate it, what you need to remove to get to it, and then a couple simple steps on how to get the uh, EVAP line off of the purge solenoid as well. So with that, let's go ahead and get this job started. In order to get to the purge solenoid, we're going to have to remove the plastic upper cover on the engine itself which also means we'll have to take this inlet out elbow off. And once we get that out of the way, we'll get the cover off and we'll gain access to the purge solenoid. This one's actually a newer design, not like the ones you've seen previously. What you need to do is you go ahead and you disconnect the air intake sensor. Go ahead and loosen up the clamp at the air filter assembly. And we also got one clamp where the elbow goes onto the throttle body. I just use a long Phillips screwdriver. Turn it a few times. Now we just start wiggle it, get it off. There we go. Same thing over here on the air box. Now we move it out of the way. Now we move on to the plastic cover, it just pulls up. Here's a hose that comes from the air box that we need to kind of just position out of the way and pull it out. Now all the covers are out of the way, we can go ahead and gain access. Uh, this kind of a tannish colored item is actually the portion of the housing right here. This is actually what we're going to be getting to. And you've got one rubber hose that goes over towards the throttle body, right to the intake, that you'll need to pull off. You're also going to have a connector on the back side you need to get loose. And you actually got where it's mounted, this little rubber bushing here that slides on. Now the EVAP hose itself that goes on is going to have a lock built onto it that you've got to release. I'll move on to showing you that. Now in order to get this red lock released, you need to get up under it. There are two fingers that stick down that you need to squeeze in on. Once you squeeze in on it, you can actually start pushing up the lock until so it comes all the way up. And then you start wiggling it off. Like I said, that's your hard plastic EVAP line that runs all the way back to the uh, EVAP system for the tank and the canister. Now we just get a matter of going ahead and whittling the assembly off this mount. There we go. Now we got to disconnect the connector by squeezing in on the end. And there we go. Our assembly is now off the car. Now what I like to do when I get a new one, I like to add a little grease to the bushing right there so it'll slide on its mount real easy. Insulation is just going to be the opposite. Once you slide it on, you're going to slide the, uh, you're going to put your connector on and you're going to get this purge line, you're going to slide it all the way down until it's fully seated, then you're going to push in on the red lock. And then you just got to mount your hose, vacuum hose that goes over to the intake right by the throttle body. As you saw, getting to the purge solenoid is really nothing too special. The only tool you really need is a Phillips screwdriver. Um, replacement doesn't take that long. Ten minutes at the most from start to finish. So with that, I appreciate you watching my videos. Always stay tuned for more. And the best way to do that is to make sure you subscribe. Anytime you subscribe, you'll be notified of any new videos that come up. Hopefully something that pertains to something you own or somebody, you, maybe you know a vehicle they've got that they're having problems with, maybe to answer some of your questions. So with that, thank you for watching.